Hello. Yep. I'm here. Don't know why. Odd day. It happens. Sometimes you just gotta. Anyway, well, part of the reason that I decided to do a vid today is because I got some stuff in. No, I'm not necessarily going to show you the stuff. I'll probably just tell you about it. This is more about the way it's packaged. And I've been listening to most of the people I follow who are like looking at some of these expensive brands and some of their favorite um, mystery boxes or subscription boxes and going, what the heck? Especially when I start looking at what I got in today and what it actually is and where it came from. Now, I placed this order partially because I'm doing some custom colors for the grand girls for the upcoming holidays. So I wanted a cute little magnetic palette for each one of them. Nose itches. So I got from Shop Mise. They've got little nine pan um, custom palettes for small shades that they're like four bucks and they're really nice and they've got a nice little mirror they've kind of I haven't seen some of the larger ones like I used to get but I figured this is enough I'm doing like three shades for the girls they get to help design them and I figured what the heck I'll get my little palettes and I'll pull a couple other things while I'm at it because whatever. I gotta take this call. I'll be back. And then I'll tell you all about this. Yes, woman. I'll tell you what, you call that one, man. What? fun that's the one person that I can say I've known forever well pretty close to forever we've we went to high school together part of the time she was a year ahead of me and we've known each other since then and other than a few arguments here and there, we're still talking to each other. I've got one other friend like that. Anyway, the picker told me to get out my neutrals that I have from Profusion. It's just called the 36 color eyeshadow. And I got this shortly after Stone Cold Fox came out. Because, I mean, it, it, it looks close. And then from Coastal, I picked up another small bunch. These are all singles. Unfortunately, Coastal Sense is gone now, which is too bad. 
But I picked these up because they're a little bit different than the ones that are in here. But I got them to go together. So, yes, I've pulled both of them out. Anyway, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about some packing and stuff. Because some stuff just, it bugs me the way some of the fancy labels will pack stuff really, really badly. Now, I shopped AOA Studio, Shop Miss A, and I love them. Now, this is one of the things I got. This is called the Rose Beauty Collection, and it's made by Kala, and it's one of the... Uh, sculpted contour pieces which i nearly oh my god it's dense and it is so soft and it only cost a dollar no really i love the brushes i get from aoa studio they are wonderful no i'm not sponsored they don't sponsor what i want to show you though after I put some of this on my eyes, it's like the picker said, here, go do these. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go do these. And I'm going to start here. Now, see, I like Profusion a lot. It's not expensive. That's okay. It doesn't need to be expensive. It's pretty, and the formula is nice, the colors are nice, and I like them. Yes, I've got my e.l.f. putty primer on. Do, 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 do. Just get a little something, something, something here started in the crease, sort of. Just remember, if you've got hooded eyes, you need to bring your crease up higher. That's part of the workaround. You bring the colors up higher. Yes, it cuts down on the real estate you've got under the eyebrow. But if you don't bring it up high enough, when you open your eyes, you won't see it. Just tell yourself to make do with some less real estate between the eyebrow and the top. Because otherwise, it's not going to much matter because you won't see the other stuff you're putting on. It's bad enough that a lot of times you won't see the stuff on the mobile lid anyway. See? You have to walk around with your eyes like, you know. Can you see it now? I can't see you, but hey. <laughs> anyway. She's got some stuff, stuff going on back where I was born and raised. She's back over. She's on the East Coast. And back in the old neighborhood that I lived in for a little while, when Jim first had his stroke, I was born and raised in Virginia and then we moved to West Virginia because we needed a little a place that was a little less expensive. So we went to West Virginia. And 
And yes, I just picked up another color with the same brush. Tell me I can. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm just shaping the out outline here. And starting to darken up this outer area. I will probably pick yet a darker as we go along. To get even more depth in the corner. This is kind of a dusty matte charcoal. And it's actually very pale in the pan. But it works well enough what I'm doing right now, which is kind of setting shapes. I'm also getting a bunch of tiger striping because my eyes are just that crazy. See? Tigers. Tigers, tigers. Now, let's see what I want to do with the rest of this. I've got several really interesting shades in here that would be fun. But I got to figure out which one I want to do. Let's see. Got that one. Yeah, let's try this one. That is a really pretty. But I think I may spritz it a bit, get a little more payoff. It's not bad dry, but I'd like a little more dry. Yeah, the drama is on behalf of my buddy. Her nickname currently is the Drama Llama. Usually whenever she calls, it's because one of her children has created drama. And since she doesn't have a partner currently and the children's father are, is not really communicative and helpful. She calls me. Trying to get the sides to match up on depth here and there. It almost never does. That's a little closer, I think. 
pick up the purple, pick up the amethyst, pick up the spray bottle. Now, with my stuff from Miss A that came in today, I was reminded of one of the reasons I love to get stuff through Shop Miss A. And one of the reasons is I have never ever had anything that came in from Shop Miss A that was broken. Never. Not once. And this is even before they started doing the type of wrapper that I'm going to sh show you in a minute. And let me remind you, Shop Miss A, other than a very few things, everything is a blessed dollar. It's a dollar. And they have skincare, they have spa accessories they have makeup they have AOA studio which is their own line of makeup which you can get in singles or in palettes they have they really do they have some amazing brushes. The only time you'll see a brush that's more than a dollar is if it's a pack of brushes or like with the one that I like to use with my e.l.f. putty primer for the eyes. This is AOA Studio High Definition Brush E107. See, it's got a nice angle. There's also an F-107, which is one of the face brushes, same angle. They put those two together in a pack of ooh, one eye brush, one face brush. And they are wonderful. They have kabuki brushes that they do the same thing with, where you get a small brush and a large brush of the same type. They're delightful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I want you to think about some of the packages that people have been showing lately, you know, the, the Ipsy or the um, BoxyCharm and all that, where they've gotten really kind of chintzy. Now, this is the exterior envelope. Okay. This is the exterior envelope. All this is basically for is to be able to stick the shipping label on. Okay? Okay. It's all just advert stuff. And yeah, it's thin. It's thin. It's crinkly. Not a big deal, right? Let me show you what was on the inside. You see this? This is an envelope. Everything that I got. Now, like I said, I had a very small order today. I had one brush, 
an eyeliner pen and those little palettes that are only like this by this and about that thick. And that's what was in here. In this air rigid container. They sell their stuff for a dollar. Okay? I have occasionally bought stuff that's more than a dollar, like brush sets. And some of their AOA Studio larger palettes. It's like palette that's like this by this. Probably 20, 24 colors. Might be 10 bucks. And they're wonderful formulas. I'm happy to give them that 10 bucks. Okay? Okay. But for some place that's selling you stuff for a dollar, I mean, you can get foundation for a dollar. You can get BB cream for a dollar. You can get setting powder. You can get eyelashes for a dollar. And they last. I've worn these several times. This is the S2, the little shorties that fit behind my glasses. Okay. When you buy eyelash glue from them, Plus, they have the black eyelash glue for those who prefer the black. I have not had a complaint yet on anything I have ever bought from them. And this is how they wrap it. Now, when I first started buying from them, it wasn't quite this way, but everything was air cushioned. Even then, it was air cushioned. This is one of their newer innovations over the last year or so. This thing is rigid. Things don't break in here. They sell their shit for a dollar. BoxyCharm has been doing what? A few pieces of paper. Sometimes they put some foam in. Um, Ipsy? Not so much. Somebody needs to remind some of these other companies that there's no reason for them to be so chintzy. This stuff is obviously not breaking the bank at Shop Miss A. And this shit don't break. The uh, products are just fine when they get here. The stuff is not busted. The stuff is perfectly fine. I love it. Like I said, I have never yet had any of their stuff bust. I've had BH Cosmetics bust. 
the Zodiac palette that I eventually ordered came in busted. I've had a few pieces from Profusion come in busted. Um, I've had all manner of stuff come in busted. over the time that I've been doing this. Indie brands, name brands, and this little scoochy brand Out in Texas. And if you're in Texas, in the right part of Texas, you can actually go to a shop and say store. Because they have them. And you could see all those lovely people that make the stuff and pack the stuff and ship the stuff. And tell them thank you for doing such a great job on my behalf, if you would. I would love to get to go to one of their stores. I don't live in Texas. I don't live close enough to Texas to get there. It's like, yeah, no. Besides, most of us know my opinions on some things. and I'm pretty sure Texas would be ready to get rid of me pretty quick. It's just that way. But if they can't, if a little shop, a little place that's doing dollar stuff can afford to ship in premium packing, these other places ain't got no excuse. None. No excuse whatsoever. And as far as I'm concerned, if they don't like my opinion, they can kiss my tookie. Except I don't want to get them that close. I mean, think about it. If you've got some expensive stuff that you're shipping out, 
and you want to make sure it gets to your person who ordered it. Whoever it is ordered it, paid good money for it, and you don't want it busted up on the way, you would think somebody might consider that packing properly would be a good idea, you know? You might think. It appears to me that that thought was given pretty short shrift with some of these companies. And, you know, I think that's pretty crappy. You're spending good money. And even with the ones that are, you know, the subscription boxes, you're spending your hard earned coin for stuff that they want to send you so that maybe you'll go out and buy a larger, larger version. Okay. But they're not going to take care of. They're not going to make sure it gets to you in good condition. I'd have to wonder about that just a bit. Just a bit, because it's like, what's the point? If they can't come up with reasonable shipping containers, and that's just it, about half the time with Shop Miss, Miss A, You only need 35 bucks worth of products to get free shipping. Sometimes they have a sale. Shipping for them is only five or six bucks, depending on where you are and all that. You know, there are some variants. You can pick a faster shipping mode if you want. Pay that little bit extra. It's up to you. If that's your thing. Yes, elf putty. I am the elf. Well, not entirely the elf. I have some Miss AOA stuff. I have a little of this, a little of that. A little of something else. I've got this. It's the Youth Glow Vitamin C CC Cream from Perlise. It came out of one of the fancy boxes. Is it great? It's okay.
No, I didn't put any consquealer on. Didn't feel like it. Right now, it's 9 o'clock in the evening, the day before Turkey Day. Now, Turkey Day, for me, I have to take a lot of things into consideration. It's like, yeah, for some of my relatives, this is a big deal day. They're going to sit around, they're going to watch football, they're going to stuff their bellies and be generally obnoxious. And for some of my relatives, they will be in a whole different mindset. Because some of my relatives, some of my relations, were here first. They've always been here. This manifest destiny that certain people think gave them the right to come in and take over everything. Just because they're pale skin. It doesn't always go over well with everyone. setting to dinner tomorrow. Some of it will be things that, as far as I'm concerned, are in honor of part of the family and some of the things will honor other parts of the family. I don't see it as wrong. I'm going to honor both sides of my heritage. But I'm not going to go hog wild with food and make a glutton out of myself. We will have a few family dishes. And a relatively quiet meal. Relatively quiet. What do you think? No, really. What do you think? Tomorrow? is a day to contemplate things. If you're grateful, be so. If you're in mourning, 
my heart is with you. Keep your distance. Find your manners. If you are still, for whatever reason, under mask warning, wear it. Get the shot if you haven't got it. I've not only had my two shots, I've had my booster. Okay? Okay. Only mistake I made with my booster was getting my regular flu shot at the same time. Go be good people. I dare you.